notice that uh, the area member function that we added to our rectangle uh, uses a const in its uh, declaration. Uh, it's a declaration definition of this function done directly inside the structure. Uh, but the const uh, qualifier right here uh, basically tells the compiler that the area function does not attempt to modify any values, any of the member variables inside the object. So it only uses uh, them to make a computation and returns the result. However, it never attempts to change member variables. So whenever you have a function which needs only uh, read-only access to the uh, data stored in your object, make sure to add this const uh, keyword uh, to the function uh, declaration or definition. And uh, we will speak about this later on. But I just want you to notice that this is a very, very helpful tip to the compiler to produce more, uh, more efficient code. And this is all, all, also a security measure. It basically makes the code more secure and more reliable in many instances. Let's also talk a little bit more about initialization of our rectangle. So here we have some examples of, uh, oh, this is just a, a demonstration of the functions that we already discussed in our quick, uh, quick demo right here. So let's uh, go over to the initialization. So this is what we've used so far, uh, this uh, set of braces. Um, and uh, C++ would also allow to use uh, an, an, uh, an equal sign, an assignment like this, uh, when you try to build a program. Uh, so it's just a matter of style. If you like it, you can use it. It's, it's okay. Uh, but uh, uh, most of the programmers actually don't use this extra, uh, extra equal sign. Just uh, it's obvious that this is just the time when the object is constructed. So therefore, this is its initial uh, initial parameters uh, provided by something we call initializer list. Uh, and they, of course, will be used to populate these data, uh, data uh, member variables inside the object when we construct it. Now, uh, just, a, just a note that we may want to be able to construct a rectangle as a square. For instance, uh, we may want to desire to do something like this as well. Uh, just, I'll uh, just say that this is a square, SQ, and uh, I may want to initialize it with just one parameter right here, okay? Like, uh, so it's like 20 by 20 or 25 by 25, and I will call it square, right? However, uh, because this uh, very uh, routine rudimentary initialization list does not match precisely the list of the data types of two integers and one string, okay, it matches only one integer, this will fail, this will not compile. However, an idea is like this to create a square, the rectangle that actually looks like a square, may be quite useful by the application. So we'll just make a note of it, okay? And uh, we'll just explain how to, how to implement this uh, feature uh, in our structures. Also, uh, another uh, uh, example would be to create a rectangle without any parameters at all. Right, so this is, um, um, we'll call it blank, okay? Right, so it's just a blank rectangle like this. So uh, let's uh, give it a try. We just have a, a rectangle that uh, is created in memory as an object, but we never populated any width or height or name with any, anything uh, meaningful. So let's take a look how it looks like if we uh, if we print uh, uh, print its uh, its information. So we we'll just uh, use blank to uh, replace rectangle right here, and we say rectangle. Um, instead, we'll just say blank. <laughs> okay, and so let's take a look. Uh, just uh, uh, see what uh, 
uh, what this uh, will result in and I run it like this and look um, the the outcome of these statements right here uh, is that uh, we create a rectangle and of course it uh, uh, places an object somewhere in memory so we have this um, object in memory now of course it contains the width and height two integers width and height and also the name so uh, the name of the rectangle uh, is uh, is we don't print it so far but we can also add printing it as well but look at the values of the width and height so clearly this is just some kind of strange looking negative value right here both of them are set to this negative value and uh, the result of multiplying one by another uh, probably results in an overflow uh, arithmetic overflow because these are just huge numbers and the integer uh, result of using uh, you know uh, one multiplied by another yields uh, an arithmetic overflow right here of this multiplication result and this is also clearly a garbage result and not uh, anything meaningful so what is happening here uh, c++ does not automatically require objects to provide some kind of meaningful values to begin with um, the assumption is that because you can access width height and and other um, member variables inside your object uh, you may be able to later define them what they are so these strange values that we have here uh, the um, uh, the build uh, uh, the debug build of the system that i'm using right here is generating sort of like predictable values for all uninitialized integers um, and other data types so that during the debugging session if there's some kind of strange uh, error uh, related to uninitialized properly or not properly initialized values uh, the debugger will be able to uh, perhaps tell you that uh, the values were not properly initialized however uh, uh, it's possible to just construct an object like this with these uh, uh, clearly garbage values and uh, get some kind of like really bad result when you try to use a computation with these uh, values however uh, remember that we also started discussing that uh, we want to be able to control initialization and make it useful so perhaps if i construct a blank rectangle maybe i want uh, to construct it like this just maybe set width and height to one and call it a unit right so it's like just one unit one by one whatever the units of measurements are of our rectangles maybe it's pixels maybe it's square miles maybe it's square meters um, but whatever uh, we just want to have a, a unit size square right uh, so and uh, it would be nice if we could control creation of a rectangle just like this right uh, using this default creation uh, by supplying something that could actually initialize it like this instead of giving us some unpredictable uh, width and height so this is the next uh, concept that we're going to discuss how to provide um, different types of initializing uh, our data structures and uh, this uh, topic is uh, presented by constructors so constructors are functions that allow us to initialize our our uh, user defined data types with uh, uh, initial values using our own decisions